As George gleefully greeted his performing pals, Ursula wondered if she'd ever come first. I wonder if I'll ever come first. <laughs> George, this is Rocky. He's very honored to meet you. Why do they call him Rocky? Because when he gets nervous, he does that. George, honored to meet Rocky, too. He says he was born in a cage, but he wants to return home with you and learn to become a real jungle kangaroo. Cage is not good for animals. George, kangaroos live in Australia. We can't bring Rocky back to the Bakuvo. Tell him we're really sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Don't worry, George, you won't bother you again. While our simple simian was being stalked by a star-struck no, no, kangaroo, no, 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 no. Lyle and the women were still searching our simple simian shorts. What now? It'll take us years to go through the rest of these. And it would have, too, had the precise, practical, so pragmatic Ursula not labeled them. Ooh, ooh, feathers. Hyena burger. Wait a second. Deed. Lyle immediately dispatched one of his dastardly disciples to the jungle, who eagerly enjoyed evicting the animals. In every other story, the king of the jungle is a lion, not a human. And so, as is my birthright, I now declare myself king of the jungle. This is really bad, really bad. Tuesdays are still meatless, right? But you can't be king without the royal amulet. Then I'll just have to get it back, won't I? Oh, we need George. Where, where's George? George's animal friends were worried, while 